We're getting new insight tonight about what happened when Santa Cruz deputies found a girl dead inside a man's home and whether they took that case seriously. The 911 caller said Lace Price was 20. She was actually 16 and suffering from a fentanyl related overdose. Investigative reporter Candace Wynn is in Santa Cruz now with the new information just released. Michael Russell is charged with multiple sex crimes against Price and providing the underage teen with drugs. We learned in court today deputies on the scene the night she died did not collect evidence and crime scene detectives say they weren't assigned to the case until four days later. Dressed in orange, 23-year-old Michael Russell from San Jose appeared in court Monday, where six witnesses, all from the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office, were called to the stand to detail what happened to 16-year-old Emma Lace Price from Santa Cruz. Friends and family know her as Lace or Lacey. In April, we first reported Price was found dead in Russell's Coralitos home back in November. She died from a concoction of drugs in her system, including fentanyl, according to a coroner detective. Russell is charged with having sex with Price, who was underage, and giving her drugs. He has not been charged with anything related to her death. But new court testimony today from Santa Cruz County Sheriff's deputies reveals they did not initially investigate her death as a possible crime. Two deputies who responded to the 911 call said, other than conducting witness interviews, they did not collect evidence from the scene, including Price's cell phone, which was on the defendant's bed. Sheriff's crime scene detectives said they were not assigned to the case to investigate it as a suspicious death and a possible sex crime until four days later. It's unclear whether any of the deputies who first responded verified Price's age after the 911 caller reported she was 20 when she was actually 16. I believe this actually rises to the uh, title of gross police misconduct. Uh, this is an investigation that was not treated seriously from the inception. Michael Leninger is a retired San Jose police sex crimes detective. He has no connection to the case. Evidence was no doubt compromised, damaged, destroyed. They literally showed a high level of indifference uh, in this investigation, uh, unlike what I've never seen. The prosecutor and defense attorney in the case did not want to comment. The investigative unit has reached out to Santa Cruz County Sheriff Jim Hart now a dozen times for an interview and answers to questions about his office's investigation. The requests have either been denied or ignored. The sheriff's office tells me they initiated an internal investigation but did not provide any details. To watch our original two-part investigation on this case right now, go to NBCBayArea.com slash fightingfentanyl. Candace Wynn, NBC Bay Area News.